So what is this? This started out life as a Dodge M37 Korean War truck. So it's what? actually military, been to Korea like, back. Like late 50s? 53. 53, okay. Wow. And then the brother to it was the uh, um, power wagon. Nice. Version. So then chopped it, chopped it, channeled it, repainted it, made, had to build a bed for it. Uh, after it got back from the war, it became a service, like a tow truck through the highway department, or okay. highway department. And then we went fun with it. All right. And what is this beast of a motor? That is a stroked out 496, uh, 600 horse, just as it sits, 300 additional horse, and 7 pounds of moose. So it's right on the edge of completely ridiculous. <laughs> right on the edge. Right on the edge. <laughs> well, lovely to meet you, man. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you.
well welcome to Boston Nova Life. What's your name? Kim Bagel. And how are you doing today, man? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, and what is this behind you? I see this amazing ride. This is my 32 Ford pickup. 32 Ford pickup. It's, uh, we built it on a 28 frame. That's and, what, yeah. Uh, with a 350 in it, with a Chevy. Uh, three barrels on it. So you put a 350 Chevy in the Ford, yeah. I see. Yeah, oh yeah. Those Fords, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, nice. no, it's been a 10-year project, but we got it done. And Wonderful. So you've, you've done everything on this, it looks like. Yeah, we help a bunch of friends, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And so how many years have you been coming to the Roadster Show? We've been coming for about the last five years. Five years but or so. But I've okay. been involved in car shows since 72. Nice, so. nice. I used to be floor manager up in Canada. Oh, uh, wonderful. For 30 years. So. so are you down from Canada for this? Yep. yep. Wonderful. So we even got guys from Canada here in Portland. Yeah, we got one. Well, actually, this is Canada. That's Canada. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw these bikes up here. Super nice. Well, thank you very much. Anywhere she gave me service with a oh, smile, service with a smile, and when she called me honey child, she gave me service with a smile. Well, I've been drinking so much coffee, and I've been eating so much pie. I've been missing my sleep, and it sure ain't cheap to try to catch that car hop's eye. She gave me service with a smile, service with a smile. And when she called me honey child, she gave me service with a smile. Hi, welcome to Boston Nova Life. How are you doing today? Good. Good. And what's your name, fine sir? Wayne Cassidy. And who are you? in relation to this event? I'm the producer of the Portland Road Show. And how long have you been doing that? 11 years. 11 years, right, amazing. And so what is the ultimate goal or the purpose of the Portland Road Show? The Portland Road Show is owned by 21 car clubs of the Portland metro area, which is the Multnomah Hot Rock Council. So all 21 clubs? 21 clubs. Nice. So what is the one thing you'd want everybody to know about your event who hasn't been here? Well, I want you guys to know that we're a 62-year-old thing and we're 100% 501c1 nonprofit. All volunteer organization we give it all away amazing well thank you so much man it's wonderful meeting you have a great day yeah i've been praying i've been praying i've been praying there but not in every day i'm gonna find my jesus then i'm going home with him someday well old saint got nothing on me that you wait to see i'm gonna get down on my knees and set my poor soul free because i've been praying I've been praying, I've been praying every night and every day. I'm gonna find my Jesus, then I'm going home with him someday. I've been praying every night and every day. I've been praying. I've been praying. I've been praying every night and every day. So welcome to Boston Nova Life. How are you doing today? Good, good. Thanks. You're you. doing well. And what is your name? Chuck Clifton. And where are you from, Chuck? Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. All the way over here in Portland, huh? Yeah, yeah. And uh, what have we got here? 32 Ford Rat, Hot Wheel style, Rat Pink style. 32 Ford Rat, Hot Wheel style. I love it. And how long have you had this? I've had it 12 years. 12 years. And have you been working on it all 12 years? I built the whole thing other than my buddies did the motor for me and the wiring, little things like that. Are you, all the fat work. Are you still working on it, doing oh, yeah, other little never things? Never stop. Never stop. I love this. It looks like it's ready to tow something. Yeah, a little drag your wing on our Hot Wheel style, my version of Hot Wheel style. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. Lovely to thank meet you. Ya. Take care. You too. Thank you. Oh, well, the sun goes down and the moon comes up.
Boston Nova Life. How are you two guys doing today? Great. Doing great. Great. And what are your names? I'm Jeremy. And I'm Renee. Renee. And what is it that you guys do? We restore vintage trailers. Restore uh, vintage trailers. We love it. We enjoy doing 40s, 50s, and 60s. We do some 70s. We've nice. also done some newer models. I've done some 2013s and 16s, but we prefer to say 50s. And we recognize this one right behind you guys from one of the magazines. I've seen this before. Yep. It's pretty uh, nice, right? It's been the centerfold of vintage trailer magazine. And yeah. We're very Thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Boston Nova Life, how are you doing, man? Good, man. Nice and who you. are you? Kevin. Kevin? What's your last name, Kevin? Ah, I hear you're royalty. Yeah, Langley, Langley British Columbia. <laughs> so, and, and you made this bike? Yeah, I restored this bike. It was my grandfather's bike. He, uh, he ran it from 58 to 60. And uh, a lot of these old drag bikes never made it through the times. They got cut up and scrapped and uh -huh. uh, thrown away. So I put this display So you together. saved one from the scrapyard? No, no, this one was tucked away in the corner of the shop. <laughs> But I put this drag bike display together with the two middle bikes there okay. from Los Angeles. John Stein uh, nice. uh, brought these up and I contacted him. He's uh, very passionate about vintage drag bikes. He's an author, wrote his own book. So How long did it take to make this one? To, this one, to restore it, I guess? Just, uh, just about three years. Three years? Yeah, just about three years. Amazing. So, it was a so you said your grandfather made it originally. Yeah, he built this and ran it with some friends and sadly he passed away. Would have this been uh, in the 40s, 50s? Uh, late 50s. Late yeah. 50s, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a beautiful ride, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Shake it one time for me. Well, I said, come on over, baby. Hold on a shaking going on. Let's get a real low now. Shake, baby, shake it. All you gotta do, honey, is kind of stand in one spot. Wiggle around just a little bit. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. Oh, baby, hold on a shaking going on. Let's go one more time. Well, welcome to Boston Nova Life. How are you doing today? Great. And what is your name, fine sir? Casey. Casey. All right, Casey. And what have we got here? It's a 1946 
COE uh, rollback. Rollback. And you just picked this up fairly recently, you said? I did. I purchased this truck. Um, it was built. Uh, it was it took seven years to make the truck. Okay. It was finished in 2003. Mel um, Nichols built the truck and uh, sold it right after he built it. Not long. Okay. Um, it went to Papa's Toy Collection. Um, we bought it from them about eight months ago. Nice. Um, it had about 350 miles on it when we took it out of their warehouse. So it's almost a 20 year old truck that since they put it together and it still only had that many miles on it. Yes. Wow. And uh, everything on the truck is the same as it was the day he built the truck. Um, the, everything is handmade. The bed's handmade. The, um, Boxes, the fenders, everything, everything you look, he actually built by hand in a shop. Amazing. Dale from Matthews Motors, yeah. he knew Mel. Mel. So and he, he was the original builder. maker, Mel. He was the original builder, and I actually got to call him. I asked him some questions about the truck. Um, and uh, Dale brought him in last night. To the show. Is, to the show, which is the first time he had seen the truck since he built it. Wow. And uh, it was really kind of a neat And he's older now, he's probably in his 80s. I think he's in his 80s, still building cars today. Amazing. He loved coming in to see the truck. And uh, about an hour after he left, his kids came in to see the truck. Brought the whole family over. Yeah, so it was kind of really a neat, a neat deal just to kind of share that experience for him. Amazing. Well, that's awesome, just bringing people together. Thanks, man. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching our video. Do you like classic cars and rockabilly? What about Kenneth and Burlesque? What about those things? How about tiki culture and mid-century modern? Atomic culture. All of those things can be yours. Just click like and subscribe right there. Do it. Right there.